interesting facts about famous people. John Wayne's iconic guns he used in his movies. The biggest name in westerns, the undeniable number one cowboy of all time on screen. A stickler for reality when it comes to the guns he used in his movies. Wayne acted in many films during his career, in roles ranging from cowboys, police officers and soldiers. Most required violence and, of course, firearms. Let's take a look at some of those movies and firearms. Let me know what I missed in the comments. I'm sure there are many. If you enjoy this video, hit the subscription button to get my new videos. To check out my many other videos, head to my channel. The link is in the description. Here we go. The Big Trail. Wayne's first starring role was as Brett Coleman in The Big Trail. Brett Coleman leads hundreds of settlers in covered wagons from the Mississippi River to their destiny out west. The Duke carried an Enfield Patton 1853 rifle, a British muzzle loader that shot a .77 mini ball accurately at more than 1200 yards. He also carried a Colt 1851 Navy revolver for the Western. Rick, you're not leaving. Yes, Miss Ruth, I'm pulling out. They say you're going to hunt down Slack and Lopez. That's what I aim to do. But you can't do this all. Stagecoach and Rio Lobo. The Colt single action army revolver was the good looking cowboy gun that was in many actors' holsters, best known as the gun that won the West, a favourite of Wayne. Disliking the ivory grips and showy outfits some stars liked, Wayne preferred plain wooden grips and a blued finish. His pistols rode in a plain holster rig through 24 Wayne Westerns. Another gun that won the West was the Winchester Model 1892, saddle rig carbine rifle. Wayne made use of them and their versions. The large loop variant was created by a Hollywood gunsmith. The Duke's characters were from time to time required to cock the weapon by a rapid twirling action. However, the star's large hands made this motion difficult with a standard lever. The larger loop came into use, also used by other stars like Chuck Connors in The Rifleman. The Fighting Seabees and Caster Giant Shadow, Colt M19 11A1. Old West guns were far from being Wayne's only firearms in movies. He also carried variants of the famous Colt M1911 semi automatic pistol in non Westerns such as The Fighting Seabees and as an officer in Caster Giant Shadow. I don't care who you have to steal them from. Yes, sir. McHugh. Seattle cop is caught up in a corrupt police force that he is trying to make right. McHugh is a cop with a mission. Mac-10, Browning high-powered Smith & Wesson Model 10 and Colt Python. Fully automatic weapons came into Wayne's use as well. In the titular role of Detective Lon McHugh, the Duke used a 9mm Mac-10 machine pistol to take down a bad guy's car. McClintock, wealthy rancher, G.W. McClintock, uses his power and influence in the territory to keep the peace between farmers, ranchers, land grabbers, Indians, and corrupt government officials. 12 gauge, double barreled shotgun. I won't. The hell I will. The Sands of Iwo Jima. Haunted by personal demons, Marine Sergeant John Stryker is hated and feared by his men, who see him as a cold-hearted sadist. But when their boots hit the beaches, they begin to understand the reason for Stryker's rigid form of discipline. Packing the M1 Garand, he also carried it as Lieutenant Colonel Van der Voet in The Longest Day. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the subscription button 
so you will see all my new videos as they come up. Take a look at my channel to see my many other videos. The link is in the description. Leave me a comment. Check out my Facebook page as well. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. I am Wrangler. Adios. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.